Hi everyone, today's story is Millie Meerkat in Trouble Again by Oakley Green. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a young meerkat called Millie, who boasting how she could run faster than anyone else, was constantly teasing Grandpa Meerkat for his slowness. Then one day, Grandpa Meerkat answered back, Who do you think you are? You might be quick, but you can still be beaten in a race. Millie Meerkat squealed with laughter. Beaten in a race? There isn't a meerkat in the world who's as fast as me. Annoyed by her boasting, Grandpa Meerkat challenged Millie to a race. Soon, a course was planned and news of a race between Millie and Grandpa Meerkat spread throughout the burrows. The next day, the entire Meerkat colony woke up at dawn to watch Millie and Grandpa Meerkat race. Millie Meerkat was tired. She had been up all night boasting to her friends about how she would easily win the race. As Grandpa Meerkat trudged slowly off, Millie let out an enormous yawn. <sighs> when Millie saw how slow Grandpa Meerkat was, <coughs> she decided to have a quick nap. Take your time, Millie teased. I'll have a little rest and catch up with you in a minute. Millie relaxed in the shade of her favourite tree and was soon fast asleep, dreaming about winning the race. A short while later, Millie Meerkat woke with a jolt and licked for Grandpa Meerkat. But he was only a short distance away and had only completed a third of the course. Breathing a sigh of relief, Millie's tummy rumbled and she decided to look for some crunchy bugs for breakfast. Soon, Millie had a full tummy and the hot sun made her feel even sleepier than before. Grandpa Meerkat had still only completed half of the course, so she decided to have a little snooze before starting the race. Smiling at the thought of the look in Grandpa Meerkat's face when he saw her speed by, Millie fell fast asleep. As the sun started to sink below the horizon, Grandpa Meerkat was almost at the finish. As Grandpa Meerkat continued slowly and steadily round the course, Millie woke up with a fright and saw that her rival was only a speck in the distance. Startled, she leapt up and started the race. Millie ran faster than she had ever run in her life, but she was just too late and Grandpa Meerkat beat her to the winning post. Poor Millie, tired and embarrassed, she slumped down beside Grandpa Meerkat, who was silently smiling at her. Slowly does it every time, he said. Millie learnt an important lesson that day. She no longer boasts or looks down on her friends and family. What's more, Millie now knows that there are many different ways to achieve great things. Oh, what a lovely story and what a lovely moral to the end of the story that we don't always have to win and we don't always have to <coughs> run really, really fast. Sometimes going slowly is the best way to go. I hope you enjoyed that today. So until next time, see you later. Bye.